All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is another video with Backyard DIY. This is Zachary, and then I have my assistant right here. It's going to be Big Haas. He's going to sit and watch. What we're doing today is we are showing you how to adjust the chain on your go-kart, the 150cc. Japanese, Chinese, whatever, there's a lot of different versions of it. But uh, so far I've removed the chain guard just for demonstration purposes. You don't need to remove it yourself. It's just uh, the two small nuts. Don't need your help, bud. Move. 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 Pass move. So it's just the two small nuts and then one larger nut right in the center. So that three nuts to get that off, or three bolts, I should say. Uh, and then it'll look just like this. Oh, this one is far beyond needing to be adjusted. Um, I there's a measurement you can look it up I personally just go so that the chain moves a quarter I'm sorry uh, an eighth of an inch and I'll show you that after I get it all adjusted but where the adjustment is here is right above the chain there is just a single nut um, it is a 17 millimeter and you want to back that off a little bit and then on the underside there is another nut and you want to bring that down your machine but let me show you anyways if we can get to it there we go so that nut right there on the bottom is what I'm turning and then now I will move back to the top nut. And you'll see what you do as you, or what you're doing as you tighten this bolt or um, nut. You're driving this shaft up, which is then in turn lifting the whole transmission motor and everything, which will cause it to tighten. So we're going to keep going until that slops out of it. It's already starting to get out of it. That's very, very, very huge improvement. Just a little bit more. Alright, and that's where I would like a chain to be. Um, for those of you that don't know, there's bearings inside of the chain. So if you have it too tight, you will wear them prematurely and then you'll have lots of noise as your chain goes around. So that's what I want on mine. Eighth inch, quarter inch, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's where I feel comfortable with that. So now the bottom nut, which is going to be your jam nut, which stops it from backing off, you want to tighten that. to shorten the video and not make it 20 minutes long. Um, the 17 millimeter is for the top, that is correct here. And <clears throat> the underside locking nut is larger. Uh, I didn't feel like chasing it around and figuring out what size it actually was, so I just used a adjustable wrench or a pair of pliers or vice grips or whatever you want um, on the locking nut and then I just tightened the top uh, until I couldn't turn it anymore so we're still at the same tightness that I wanted and uh, all that's left now is to throw that side cover back on or I will probably spray some kind of uh, um, graphite lube or um, some kind of non sticky lube um, to try to reduce it from picking up dirt. But uh, I'm going to spray that on, put the cover back on, and then 
this go-kart should be ready to rock and roll. So uh, this is a quick video just to show you how to adjust your chain on the uh, 150cc. I'm sure there's a lot of different cc's it covers and a lot of different motors it covers that this adjusting the chain is the same. But uh, thank you for stay tuning in. Thank you for watching. And uh, Haas and I would like to say to make sure you click on the subscribe button, like our videos, and comment as much as you would like. And maybe Haas will do a trick for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.